Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Anthony Groper and I run this YouTube channel if you're new here or you haven't heard me before. And today we're doing a account reviews video. On these videos, what I do is I take typically three to five of you guys by a random and I just go ahead and I review your account. I make it into a video and then I publish it for not only you to see, but for other people to see as well. If you want to get your account reviewed, um, I do these semi often. I'm gonna try to start doing them at least once per week. So if you want to get a chance to uh, be involved there get your account reviewed uh, one time per week these are the simple instructions of what you need to do in the link in the description of this video there's gonna be a link to our private Facebook group it's gonna take you to a Facebook group just like this it might need to sign into Facebook to join but this is the group that's gonna take you to you join it you're automatically gonna jo join over 13,000 of us 13,000 people who are growing their Instagram which is something super powerful um, and then what you're gonna want to do is you want to turn on post notifications because I make random posts you never know when I'm gonna make it and I just announce instead of making a review video an account review video and then all you have to do is drop your handle on that post so that is how you get in um that's how you get your account reviewed all you have to do is join our facebook group first link in the description and then just turn on post notifications so you get notified when i make a random post announcing an account review with that said, uh, let's get right into it. So as most of you guys know, I don't look at these accounts beforehand. Um, unfortunately, I did look at these accounts beforehand. I made this entire video already actually, and for some reason the whole thing crashed. So I've seen all these accounts before. This video is gonna be a little bit quicker than usual just because I already basically know what's going down. Um, but nonetheless, I'm still gonna be saying the same things I said, still showing you guys the same uh, little you know pros or cons that I saw. So with that said, let's get right into it. Um, as you guys know, I don't like underscores and names. I'm always trying to, you know, I'm always like either get rid of the underscore or get rid of the period if you can. My reason for this is just because it looks more like the original name. Whereas too, I'm sure someone else has huge superhuman skills without the underscore. And then who looks like the original person? It looks like the person without the underscore. Does it matter that much? No, not really. But from a long-term perspective, um, you might be more happy you're getting a more original name or even buying an original name for that matter. Um, one thing that I wanted to say before on the previous video was that the name here is different than your username, right? So your username could be this, right? And if it's superhuman skills, then for the name, I would put like, you know, superhuman athletes, right? I wouldn't match the name to the username because this bold name right here is actually searchable within like Instagram's SEO. It's kind of like attaching a hashtag to your name. So if you were a, you know, personal trainer, you would want to put maybe something like fitness coach right here, because then that's actually searchable and people type in fitness coach, you would pop up even if your username is still your name. So always do that. The other thing that I didn't really like about the bio here is just the overuse of fire emojis. I don't think anything really looks good when you overuse it, whether it's text emojis or anything else. Um, so I would get rid of this. I would try to spice it up a little bit more. Um, the, the, the calls to actions are good, right? Follow for free shout out that's a good call to action uh turn on post notifications that's a good call to action i would try to just give a little more description of what the page is about like hey this is superhuman athletes doing crazy things you know like what like just get a little bit more descriptive of what the page actually is in case if anybody doesn't know because this is very viral content um and a lot of people that see this content may not you know already be interested in this content maybe something that they're discovering for the first time um, so give a little bit more of a description there Other than that looks all good. Uh, don't know what this is. I would probably take that out. Maybe, you know, I have no clue what that is. Um, so maybe take it out. The, the, your pin stories were good. Um, I always try to run a story nonstop. I'm sure you do. You're at 79k followers. I'm sure you have a good idea of what's going on. Um, one thing that I'm always working on is I try to get a story out there and running every 24 hours. So my goal is to always have a story running. Does it always work? No. Sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes you forget. Uh, sometimes you miss a time. It is what it is. But if you always have a story going, at least you always try to, your account always looks more active with the red circle going around it. Um, and overall, you're going to gain more followers off of it. Um, as as far as content goes, this content's pretty good. I think you're picking some pretty decent thumbnails. Um, some th thumbnails on these videos could be better. So just make sure that when you're picking the thumbnails for the videos, that you're picking the climax of the video. You're picking the most interesting point and setting that as a thumbnail. And really the thumbnail is what is going to dictate whether or not the post goes viral. Um, so on this page, I've seen a lot of the average engagement seems to be two to three K likes, but then I, you know, sometimes there would be a 12 K like right, right here be a 12k like and if you notice let's see 3k likes 1k like 2k 6k 6k 12k so what do we see three of these uh videos that had either red arrows or red circle performed way better than ones that didn't now 
you know instagram's tos doesn't really like the red circles and red arrows you can get this taken down it is against their tos but hey you know sometimes things work not advocating it um you guys do what you want it does work but instagram doesn't like it just keep it in mind maybe you don't know um either way it's working um and like i said thumbnail right here a bull horn almost going into somebody it's going to get a lot of likes it's all about the thumbnails and we can see if we look at a thumbnail i'm gonna try to find a thumbnail that i don't think looks that good um so if we just go let's see what's a thumbnail that probably doesn't look that good there's a lot of good looking thumbnails here i would say maybe the, oh that one is good Basically, if you're looking at a page, what I'm trying to say is, is that the thumbnails that don't look that good, you can normally tell because it has lower engagement. I'm trying to find one right now. Um, can't seem to find it because you're doing a really good job, man, whoever's running this page with um, finding good thumbnails. Uh, but yeah, so other than that, I mean, it seems like you know what you're doing. You're doing a good, a damn good job. Things are going viral for you. Um, I'll make those little adjustments that I told you to make. And other than that, I'll keep growing this page, keep using the methods that you're using. Because if something's not broken, why fix it? Keep being consistent. You're going to build more momentum. And month to month, you're going to see your followers increase. For getting 10K per month now, if you keep up the consistency next month, it's going to be 12K. And then next month, it'll be 15. And then next month, it'll be 20. And you'll build up this snowball, you know, as long as you can and stretch it out for as long as you can and then maybe when something stops working or things start to go wrong or an algorithm change then you adapt but always squeeze the most out of something while it's there and while it's active okay now let's go on to the next page here so making to fame yeah so this page needs a lot of work actually in the previous video i recommended that you probably pick up um our viral venom training so that you really learn how to craft the page because I, I mean i'll just be brutally honest here um almost everything on this page is wrong and believe it or not a lot of people that submit to these account reviews um this is what your pages look like and it's fine because i was there too and i'm sure when i first started on instagram my pages probably looked even more worse than this right for the first offs um there's a username there's no name so no one can search you um representing my favorite stuff who are you because when you say my you know it's like okay well who's the guy like why do i care and and we don't even know because this isn't even a personal brand so it has to get a lot more detailed than that um this again this doesn't look like a personal brand so no one's going to really care as to where you're living so you have to either is this going to be a personal brand um is this going to be a niche page decide what that is and then set up the entire profile correct correctly uh use the three w's in your bio you know who are you what value do you provide um why are people going to follow you answer those questions that people typically have get pinned stories that are more evolved around you or the niche of your page and i would definitely fix this um this photo here because it's for one if it's about cars the photo's off so you can't even get the logo of it um it needs a lot of work um now if we go down to the content um for a page this small with 160 followers i'm not necessarily looking like is the content doing well um obviously the content's not doing well if the page isn't growing um especially when a page is set up like this what i'm looking for when i go through this is is does this page even have a niche how niched is it why isn't this page growing and you can tell a lot of why a page isn't growing based off the content for this page an example um you know we have cars and then we have obama and it, it just doesn't make any sense right that's never going to last that's not a sustainable page this page will never grow like that um and you can tell that it doesn't make sense because when we look at the car pictures 35 likes 66 likes 16 likes 300 likes and then you have Obama with six likes. So nobody liked it because it doesn't make sense on the page. It's more, it seems like it's branded as a car page more than anything. Um, then with a motivational quote here, it doesn't make any sense. And again, this page basically doesn't even have a niche. It has some cars on it and then it has quotes and then it has Obama. And it has some marketing advice with the power of branding. The page doesn't make any sense. So basically what you need to do, my man, is you need to go ahead and you need to pick a niche for this and stick to that niche, stay consistent, compound some growth strategies, make this whole profile profile look good. Um, honestly, like I said before, I would really recommend our viral venom training to you. Um, and so you could just get this whole thing set up, um, set up the profile right and start actually growing the account and, and learn what it takes to, you know, set up a profile that is going to grow on Instagram because ultimately it's going to come, come down to how your profile set up your content, how niche it is and your growth strategy three those are the th probably the three main driving forces of why or why not account is going to grow um i'll leave our link to the viral venom training for anybody who wants it down in the description below and let's go on to the next profile so eddie runzo we got creator from toronto la video out now lots of pin stories this is good um so all the places looks like all the places you've traveled to that's good i see a lot of travel influencers do that they put each and every location they travel to not a bad thing let's go through some of the content here 
So content's really good. Really, really nice pictures. I wish I could take pictures like this. I'm such a bad photographer. Um, yeah, so content's looking really good. Let's look at some of the engagement. So keep in mind that she has 9K followers. Let's see, 500 likes, 500 likes. So I'm looking for consistency here. Obviously, I'm not looking if the if the posts are going viral, right? On this page, I'm looking if the posts are going viral because this is a viral page. On this page, I'm not, right? I'm not looking for, you know, hey, does one of these pictures have 12,000 likes? Looking for consistency and engagement. Looking for, you know, is it a strong, loyal audience? Um, you know, things like that. That's what I'm looking for. And it is. So you have a good foundation built. The comments and the likes all seem pretty consistent. Um, and one thing, I know this before um, because I made this video before, um what you don't do on these is you have short little captions like this right and these captions really aren't going to work um well they they do work obviously they're working for you but what i'm trying to say is that if you want it to work better if you want to instantly increase your engagement start leaving cta start leaving calls to actions inside of your bios right instead of this right you could put that but then right underneath it put you know hey double tap the picture if you've been here before double tap the picture if you like it you know just giving a simple call to action there's a reason why people who are big will give calls to actions like that it's because when you actually ask people to do something they will go ahead and do it and you will see an increase in likes just like if i said hey guys like this youtube video right now which i just said it this vid like that there's definitely some people who hit the like button right now whether you did it doesn't matter there's definitely a few people out there who did hit the like button and if i say that a few times throughout this video the video by the time it's over will have exponentially more likes than if i never said it at all same thing on your instagram post if each post you ask for likes you ask for comments you know 10 posts later you're now getting a lot more engagement than you did before when you never asked for likes or comments and then when you're asking for them your audience gets used to it and you really one of the best things you can do is get your audience used to leaving comments on your uh, pictures used to leaving likes on your pictures make it like something that's like they always do it they're always leaving a comment or saying how good it is or whatever make it like you know that that's what you want and you could do that by also replying to them after thanking them since you're not a viral page you're not trying to go viral you know there's no worries about your re uh, replying to comments and really building that community because that's what you want to do build that entire community other than that i would start with the basics like that i would get the engagement at its absolute peaks because you have the content for it and then from there i would go ahead and i would triple down on growth strategy whether you do it with uh through influencers whether you do it through ads whether you do it through giveaways triple down the growth strategy but have your entire foundation set because it damn near is you're getting consistent engagement your content's really good i would just start utilizing calls to actions i'd fill this bio a little bit more tell me more about who is emily give me a little more information about you just a little bit doesn't got to be creepy <laughs> but just a little more information about you let me feel like i know you right i don't want you to feel like a stranger and ultimately you don't want your followers to feel like you're a stranger let us know a little bit more about you get the engagement use the calls to actions put a call to action in this bio here and then triple down on growth and with this profile with your content you could easily be having a couple hundred thousand followers a million followers whatever it is it's just going to take time to build but you can do it because there's profiles out there that have worse content than you um and they're out there having hundreds of thousands if not millions of followers so with that said guys that is the video i hope you guys enjoyed this um again if you want to enter to have your account reviewed, all you got to do is join our Facebook group here and join over 13,000 of us, not only in just an Instagram Facebook group, but you're also going to get the chance to go ahead and enter for these account reviews that I do. Again, I'm going to try to do them once per week. So with all that said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop it a like. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy these, if you guys actually want to see them once per week. Like the video, comment again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with all that said, guys, I'll see you all on the next one.